Hello everyone, welcome to Fujifilm X India's YouTube channel and of course to Pixel Village's YouTube channel as well. My name is Ratha Krishnan and I am your host this evening. We're going to be talking about, well, you know what happened this evening in Tokyo, right? And in fact, in Omiya, right? During the, uh, the, the X Summit 2022, Fujifilm launched a series of fantastic products. And we're going to be talking about that. My job is to kind of talk about it in detail to, uh, to our viewers today, this evening, in fact, and also to talk about it, someone who's actually used it. Uh, well, you know, the photography industry in India is actually maturing. And I can see that because uh, brands have started sending their, you know, pre-production models to us. And it's a, it's a, it's a great matter of pride for definitely to the man I'm going to bring in uh, today to this uh, this live and also to me and uh, to us in Pixel Village uh, because, well, yes, you guessed it, right? We have a pre-production of uh, pre-production model of that particular uh, camera, the one which they launched, the XH2S. Uh, the re reason why I'm, I'm, I'm kind of trying to remember is because this is un, uh, uh, kind of badged. You know, it's for me. It is a matter of privilege. Okay, I mean, it's 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 also a sign that. Uh, brands have actually started recognizing India as a maturing uh, or probably a kind of a growing up market for photographers. And uh, yeah, so this is the pre-production model of that uh, camera, the XH2S, right? They also launched a few other products. They launched the vertical grip for this camera. They launched the uh, the the cover kit. They launched the uh, 150 600 mother of all zoom lenses. They also launched the 18 120 uh, the power zoom lens. Amazing evening it was. And <clears throat> well, we got it about a few days back, and we've been actually fooling around with this uh, camera. We've not actually shot any uh, serious, uh, you know, stills or film uh, footage uh, uh, with this. But I know someone who has done this, who has taken this camera. He got in, in fact, way in uh, advance, and he's, he actually created a fantastic video. I have not seen the video, I've, but, but let me admit, I've seen the BTS. What I'm going to do is to get that person in. You all know him. Um, he is an amazing uh, cinematographer, photographer. Well, I, I actually would like to call him an artist. Uh, he's truly an artist. And uh, the kind of the body of work that he has done in the short span of... Uh, he's a young guy, okay? I mean, in front of him, he's probably really young. But the kind of work that he's done is amazing uh, so without any more delay let me in the column in because we have very limited time uh, to talk about this product and to let you know more about the person who's kind of worked with it well let me call or rather bring in that gentleman Aditya Verma welcome Aditya to the well, show <laughs> As, as, Hello, as, sir, as, thank you so much. You're <laughs> welcome. I mean, like, like in Fujifilm, uh, you know, in the, in the company we call Aditya San, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Radha Krishnan, sir. What a quite an intro, uh, to be honest. Uh, it really made me happy behind the camera. I was constantly gleaming. I was smiling. I was like, uh, <laughs> you call me an artist. Uh, <laughs> that is something huge for me. But yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, what an evening, as you said. What great of great launch of products, and I'm really really excited to see how people create their magic, how these products will do, and like how it will affect our Indian market especially. So I'm really excited, sir. And so good to see you, sir, after a long time. Well, you calling me sir is actually making me <laughs> making me uh, you know feel like a little older. I want to feel young this evening. So if you can call me by my first name or Radha Radha San Radha G uh, Radha G no. No, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so Radha San is perfect. So oh, I'll that, call you Radha San. Oh, that's fine. If that 
That's makes fine. you feel a little. Yeah, I keep saying this is this is uh, this is actually a white color dye. You know, it's actually black. <laughs> anyway, well, thank you for being with us this evening. Uh, without waiting, we will come to that after part, all right? Because that's a very important discussion. Um, uh, if we start on that discussion, we'll get a little digress from what we are supposed to be talking this uh, this this evening. But uh, yes, what I want to actually, uh, by the way, I saw the BTS, okay? Uh, so, and I have this camera uh, with me. Uh, I want to start with a very cliched kind of question, okay? You, you are a cinematographer, more a cinematographer than a photographer. Um, and you have used everything uh, from, let's say, Airy Alexa to a mobile phone and everything in between. And uh, <laughs> off late, you've been shooting with a lot of uh, 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 Fuji cameras because you're a Fuji man, a Fuji ambassador. Uh, the, the, the X family. Uh, I'd like to definitely ask you, begin, like I said, it's a cliched question, but however, I want to definitely ask you, how does it, how did it feel? holding this camera first time in your hand sir like you said i've been i've been using like xt3 xt4 xt2 i was always in the x thing and then uh, in between xh1 came in uh, especially for like cinematography like uh, they launched xh xh1 i remember uh, it was mostly for the rugged feel and the grip that it had like a uh, larger grip and stuff so with XH2, they just, I think, uh, they just put it on steroids and uh, they bumped the uh, specs of the video so yeah. much. And uh, we have like every single thing I had, like I wanted in XT4 because I was constantly shooting with XT4. We all know I've shot like tons and tons of footage with XT4. Uh, now XH2S is just a great step up for me, especially with the kind of stuff they've introduced in it, mm -hmm. uh, starting from HDMI, like... I'll talk a full about HDMI. specifications in a bit, but just yes, and uh, and also the grip, right, sir? Like just about the design of it, right? Mm -hmm. How useful it is in terms of like, for example, I was shooting, especially the video you saw. I was shooting the whole day, mm -hmm. and uh, like my there was less fatigue because the grip was so firm and it was easy to hold and stuff. I'm sure you have the camera in your hand. You understand. Yes. So and there I, is this so, top so, dial, so, which was so sorry so to sorry to kind of come in quickly. Uh, for viewers' benefit, um, I will actually share, you know, a nice close-up of this uh, camera with everyone, uh, you know, later. Since we have very little time with Aditya because he's actually shooting. He's busy. He's actually in the <laughs> middle of a shoot. <laughs> it's somewhere in, uh, uh, you know, somewhere in uh, uh, Punjab. So, we got up. Yes. In, in, <laughs> yeah, if Chandigarh is in Punjab, right? I mean, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I mean... Uh, what I wanted to say was that thanks for giving us this small window uh, to, to kind of talk to you. So, uh, no, no, sir. Actually, pleasure is all mine. Anytime for you and Fuji film. Really sir. happy to know that. <laughs> yep, everything for Fuji. Absolutely. And that's what happens to the, the, the Fuji, real Fuji lover. You know, I mean, they like the Fuji camera so much that, uh, you know, and they, they trust it with their life. Yeah. So, Coming back to the uh, the camera, like I said, I saw a little bit of uh, your BTS and the way you were explaining. Um, I know the video is not yet to be shown to the public. It'll be uh, shared very soon. I am really, really excited. I mean, I'm waiting for for to see that full uh, video. <clears throat> but I've seen glimpses of that, and it was fantastic. Okay, I called you an artist, but I'm going to. Uh, take a liberty and say compare that style of photography to the one and only Lubisky. I, I it kind of reminded me of that movie called the Tree of Life. <laughs> if you remember, uh, if you watch that wow. movie Tree of Life, it it had moments of you know that kind of a feel with the camera, you know, handheld and all that. So you talked about the form factor uh, of this camera. In fact, uh, to most of you, I mean, people who don't know about uh, the XH series, for me, the XH1 still was their flagship camera, not the X-T3 or the X-T4s. The XH1 still was their bigger brother. 
it had a much bigger body. In fact, the XX1 uh, technically is actually a little more bigger and more heavier. This is actually a slightly kind of a more matured version of it. So uh, you, 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 were, you were beginning to talk about how comfortable it was, the grip and the overall uh, ergonomics of the So carry on, please. You like to uh, hear more. Sorry about that inter interruption because I wanted to bring no, no, about sir. that. Absolutely. Bring about that point of, uh, you know, the tree of life reference to it. That video, I mean, those shots no, no, were sir, Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. <laughs> You're even comparing with the bigs. Yeah. Uh, I meant like the grip, the grip and the way like, like it works and like the in-body stabilization. Overall, the camera is absolutely a complete package for me, sir, in the smaller size like territory. Because I, I am used to using cinema bodies for like the projects which I can't skip in the sense that like where your clients want uh, me to shoot with cinema bodies and that they have a requirement of a particular raw file from RE or RED. So we are like we are uh, like locked to use uh, those bodies. But when we when I'm shooting for myself or when I'm shooting for stuff that where the clients are very flexible, I always go with like these smaller bodies and smaller Fujifilm cameras and then this XH2S to me is like a god god sent camera I feel uh, I'm very excited to get one uh, for myself because uh, because it's got like the mix of everything in like such a small package uh, and the, the potentiality of this camera is just absolutely boundless uh, just like there's so many things I can keep talking about it mm -hmm. uh, but we can take one by one like starting from the like starting from the full HDMI thing because yeah. because I shoot because I shoot a lot of video I I sometimes want an external monitor connected for the director or like sometimes I want uh, like I want a small monitor on the top of the camera like uh, in the BTS how I was using the Ninja V uh, it helps her uh, to have like a proper HDMI thing and I was only like waiting for uh, RXT cameras to get that thanks to Fujifilm they gave it on this camera. <laughs> and apart from that, the IBIS is absolutely ground smashing in my opinion because I have tried all cameras, IBIS. I've tried like multiple brands, IBIS. But I feel like I am making a statement saying this is one of the best IBISs because most of the footage that you have seen also in the BTS or the film that I've shot is fully handheld, except for the shots which I've tracked with the vehicles and the stuff uh, which I'm shooting where I have to shoot in a bus where there's a lot of shake and stuff. But apart from that, most of the places I kept it handheld to get that kind of a very tail look and also to get that look where I like I wanted to have an organic feel to the video. So, yeah, and uh, it's, it's beautiful, sir. I mean, from whatever little I've seen, you've uh, you've you've got it. I mean, that cinema very tail look <laughs> and that, uh, you know, wherever that you, you're following, it, it's there in the BTS where you're following a vehicle using this camera mounted on a gimbal. And uh, yeah. Well, very contrary to your, let's say, your your uh, uh, very strict regimental use of a camera uh, in, in your, let's say, filming using, let's say, a bigger brothers like the Aries and the Reds of the world, you did not use any matte box. You used a probably, if I, if I what I saw is, was probably was a variable ND filter. That's all what you had in front of the camera and you had... Uh, a monitor, you, you said a ninja, but you didn't record in ninja, did you? You recorded everything internally. So that's a great question you asked because I wanted to actually, while shooting also, my whole main idea was to keep it as realistic as possible with testing because I know a lot of testing how people show like uh, behind the scenes when you see they're using like huge rigs, they're using like millions of uh, lights, hundreds of people are in the set, but we wanted to keep it true to the story what we had for XH2S when we were talking also to the Japan team where I wanted to just take one reflector and the lenses that they provided and the camera that we had and that is all sir and sometimes I use just the monitor just for my reference but uh, I did not record it into the Ninja V I recorded directly to the SD card and everything all the footage that you will see or like that you have seen is all directly shot to the camera and uh, now, now, because the camera has internal progress, I mean, the post-production becomes absolutely so easy for all of us. The turnaround becomes so easy. Yeah. It's just absolutely groundbreaking so for people who are like into wedding film filmography or like people who do hybrid photography plus videography. 
it's just so easy and fast and yeah it's quite quite a stunning uh, image that comes out of the camera because of the black back illum- backlight illuminated sensor yeah. so it's it's absolutely great sir how uh, fuji film has like got everything the entire package into this small body uh, it's everything that i asked for i feel like <laughs> I found <laughs> my perfect camera. Absolutely, and and uh, the biggest problem for uh, let's say a hybrid uh, uh, camera filmmaker um, is is the, the the shutter, right? I mean, this the shutter lag is kind of they've reduced so much that you don't Absolutely, really feel the sir. roller, the rolling shutter feel at all. You you did a lot of movements with this camera. Um, I saw a few, you sir, know. Yes. I wanted to test the rolling shutter of the camera in such a way you will see in some shots where I'm literally running like sideways, sideways, frontways. I've panned left and right. There were wish pans. Like literally, I've done everything to test the camera, but it's all incorporated with the story. So when I and my co-director Ritika Pal, when we wanted to design the uh, story, and then we were writing and we were talking about the story, we always wanted to incorporate it in such an organic way where we don't actually talk talk about the camera, but also it comes out in the cam comes out in the video where it like naturally comes out. And then to be honest, uh, we were so shocked. Like especially when we we're shooting, if you could see the BTS, it's absolutely real reactions and natural reactions of how I used to feel. I saw that, and I had such a great team who were actually capturing me while I was. Uh, my own element while i'm shooting right so so it's absolutely you were you absolutely were in fact you in fact you yourself were surprised by what you got i mean i saw very very child like <laughs> reaction to the the, the <laughs> images that you caught you know i mean it was the true inner self kind of reacted oh, look at look at that look at that you know i mean <laughs> i'll i'll try and play a, a little bit of that for our, for the benefit of our viewers if i can if i am allowed to do that I'll I'll play that for you in some time. So, sir, but 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 to yes. be honest, sir, it was actually the, see honestly for me every time Fuji launches it. See, I'm a big fan of Fuji film, so probably uh, all the things that is coming out of my mouth is turning out a little <laughs> like we, every, everyone can take it with a pinch of salt because I'm a fanboy. But uh, to be fair, uh, like the reactions I got was so genuine because I was actually so happy and excited to see what it. brought to the table sir because i'm always in the quest right so to bring in like what what will actually fit perfectly to my hand to carry every day and then shoot both photos and videos because that's all i want to do in life capture every single thing around me and then narrate my story say my stories and see things in my perspective uh, so i think that way uh, hey. this is actually a great tool for me sir you well uh, i mean okay you may be saying that uh, you know people have to take your advice or your reaction with a pinch of salt but they don't have any they don't have any reason to take my reaction with a pinch of salt it's right in front of me so <laughs> let me tell you nothing needs to be taken with a pinch of salt when it comes to the xh2s because it gives you 4k 120 that's amazing right 6.2k well extra if you have an external recorder which can record prores raw also bmd black magic uh, designs raw well you can record a raw footage outside well 420 sorry 4k 120k internal is amazing it has an sd card it's got a, a cf express card mind blowing well for me what i was really really excited to see like you said is this full hdmi uh, port <laughs> well i in fact i'll show you a close up of this uh, soon after this uh, because he is in a hurry uh, aditya is in a hurry so he will leave in some time before that let let's get more out of uh, aditya aditya what did you shoot did you shoot any film styles or did you shoot uh, the the, uh, the 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 log So yeah so this is a very good question so because I was I was actually going to tell you why I love this new camera is also they launched F log 2 in this uh, yeah. new camera yeah. so F log 2 is a great so when I was actually before going to Meghalaya where we shot the uh, film that you will see uh, it was in Meghalaya before going there I, in Bombay I was testing the camera I was setting up the camera and stuff and I was checking with the color charts and stuff and uh, it the camera has both F log 1 and F log 2 So F log two actually F log one already was a great image. It was one of the 
one of my favorite logs ever after ari log uh, and f log 2 is actually one of the best logs ever sir because it also saves a little more highlights now with the f log 2 but the shadows remain the same and you get data details from the shadows and now highlights are also recovered i can't even ask for more because when in f log 1 there was one problem when you shoot like a little bright in midday uh, some highlights get rolled off and stuff but okay. now in this like the highlight roll off is so soft it almost feels like like you're shooting on film right mm-hmm. and that's amazing sir so the, throughout the film i shot it on f log 2 uh, it also has eterna but i love shooting on f log and f log 2 because i like i am so used to uh, shooting with f log and f log so i kind of i'm comfortable using it if you can say uh, and also i want to have like much more latitude when i'm shooting throughout the day for example i'm shooting in the night i'm shooting in midday i'm shooting in the uh, evening so like to match everything and to bring everything to the way i want it i want a little bit of push and pull in post so i kind of want to shoot always in f log 2 mm-hmm. uh, but yeah that's what this camera offers both the things if you want a quick turn around if you want to just absolutely shoot with the camera and just give it to the client you can shoot it on eterna and then give it or or like other film simulations and uh, otherwise if you want to push and pull in the grade uh, you have f log 2 so yeah i think well we are eterna people <laughs> we are eterna people <laughs> i have been shooting on eternal uh, eterna i have been shooting uh, <coughs> i'm sorry about that slip i'm have been shooting in eterna mode eternally Uh, ever since that i can remember <laughs> i've been shooting uh, uh, you know because so, so 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 now that i have this camera i'll definitely try and shoot in that f log 2 mode for sure so uh, can you also please tell me about uh, the the iso um, I, i saw some uh, you know footages were shot i mean i heard you saying that there were absolutely no light i mean there were not low light no light kind of a situation but i did not see any so no so in meghalaya shots. what happens is yes so in meghalaya what happens is uh, your uh, your sun sets really early especially this time of the year yeah, yeah. so uh, by 4:30 it's almost pitch dark sir there so okay. like we had very short day to shoot a lot of stuff uh, so like when we are shooting in low light there were so many times i bumped up just bumped up the iso and started shooting in like say iso 8000 iso oh. 12000 if you see in some of my reactions also how i was reacting yes, after seeing those low light footage it's crazy because i wasn't like see obviously in other brands and stuff there are cameras where you can shoot like lot of sensitivity lot of like low light and stuff but with fuji what i like about low light especially in this camera because it is backlight illuminated sensor what i really love about it is like the skin tones the latitude remains almost like similar to how you're shooting at iso 800 say per se okay. and uh, so that is so much more important for me than like not having like absolute green i don't mind a little bit of green in my footage but like when the skin and when the colors just like take a u turn that's where i really like i don't like shooting such a such a low light footage so what i really loved about xh2s was Like even when you're shooting at ISO 8000, the skin tones remain nice and beautiful, you know. And if you see that's the a, actor, that usually that's the first like casualty. How... I mean, if you shoot high ISO, <laughs> skin really goes. It is top. the first yeah. casualty. You're right, yeah. sir. Yeah. You're right. Mm. Well, what about stills? I saw you were shooting some stills as well. You were kind of sharing it with the uh, with your subject, and they were like really, really excited seeing them. A few. I mean, I know that you're not. Uh, you are not you are primarily a, a cinematographer but uh, you are you are quick sir i am about i am actually first a still photographer but i only shoot for myself so <laughs> professionally i am called a cinematographer but i actually shoot a lot of stills and uh, later part of in my life i would probably retire or end up as a still photographer uh, we don't want you to retire please my keep creating photo books <laughs> thank you sir but like uh, still sees my first love always because i started my cinematography from uh, being a photographer so uh, yeah so like you said stills on the camera is amazing as of now like as of now what i've shot like the few pictures that i've shot if you can show it to the audience also it's it's beautiful sir the colors that you get out of it because the low light is so good uh, just generally fuji colors are amazing sir especially for stills i literally vouch by it sir 
Well, oh, fantastic. Nice hey, people. thank you very much, Aditya, for that, uh, you know, for, for actually agreeing to come on in such a short notice and speaking to us. The time actually given to me was actually 15 minutes, but I think I have kind of <laughs> gone way beyond that. I can actually still continue uh, talking to you about this camera because I can see the excitement. Uh, you know, it's very apparent in this, uh, you know, in your words for sure. Uh, I'm also looking forward to the in a final, uh, you know, the production version of this uh, camera. Uh, but however, thank you very much uh, for uh, coming in, talking to us, talking to the viewers. And, no, pleasure uh, is all mine, sir. Pleasure is all mine. Thanks to you and good folks at Fiji Film. For and, 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 and wish you all the best for the project that you are in now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, thank, you thank you very much. And uh, in a See. typical Pixel Village style, I'll say bye for now. But uh, we will continue with this uh, presentation. Uh, well, I'll, 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 I'll talk more about this camera. So see you another time. I mean, hoping to meet you. I mean, we've never met personally. Hoping to meet you very soon. All the best, yeah, uh, Aditya. Thank you once again. Okay, sir. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Now let's watch the BTS of the video that we were talking about. Mind you, it's a little long, but it's worth it. So stay with us. You don't need that much equipment. You don't need like 100 people in a set. You can literally go with like eight people, have a great story, really good actor, and you're good to go, man. You're ready to go. Mm, we are good man, we have a lot of function. Call when ready. Rolling. I'm rolling. Action. The name of the film is like Mirai Boeing, right? There is a word in Hindi called Idhar Udhar. That's my life just generally. When I'm actually off, and I'm just like not thinking about much, I'm just like moving. I think that uh, comes out in the film really well. Kritika, something like this? Yes. Everything that Milo does, I have derived from observing Aditya, like what he does. The idea was that she never leaves her camera. It's like an extension of her hand. I really think Milo has been like recreating what I do because sometimes I feel like, Oh, like, oh, that's how I move, that's how I look, you know. Sound is ready? Yeah. So I'm used to using the X-T4 for all my shoots and all my stuff. And then I held this camera. The first reaction was really good that, like, it's got, like, a deeper grip. And I can actually hold it, like, comfortably. We are in, like, a midday, approximately, it's 12 PM. This will test the dynamic range and every single thing about this camera, overheating and all that. So we thought we'll challenge that. We'll also take one shot from that bridge, one top-down shot, because we didn't want to add a drone shot into the film. So we are doing with the same camera. Action. <laughs> Great shot. Throughout, I've been like only literally shooting with the camera and the lens and one reflector probably when we wanted to cut light and stuff. This has got like this F-Log 2 in the in camera. So I can literally recover almost all highlights, go back, go back. clean shadows. So one more thing I uh, noticed is the top display thing, which is very handy, especially to see how much card is left and how much battery is left. So it's actually helping me be like really aware of the situation and wherever I am. In XH2, I wanted like the 4K 120 and then they gave me, I'm so happy. And it also has this full-sized HDMI cable and the internal ProRes, which is amazing for such a small body. Initial days, I remember shooting only in like, like a certain period of time in the day, like 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And then like say 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. Now I shoot throughout the day. It's absolutely insane, man. Where we have come. So we're actually doing the 
last shot of the film and the first shot of the film uh we are planning to do in the same light Action. but i'm blocking a little bit for the end parts uh but it's almost pitch dark here just a little bit of window light is there we'll see how it goes next next Oh, look at this! Look at this! Did 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 did. Mila, she keeps taking this. See this? Even the walking one is so cool. Man, you should check some of these shots, dude. We shot it like some eight thousand years old stuff, but still, you know, like look at this. Do you see this? Man, it's crazy, dude. And these are gonna straight make to the video, you know. I couldn't believe that what I was seeing. You guys were seeing me. It was almost pitch dark. Did you see it in my? It was just crazy. You don't stop. I thought you were going to go that side. <laughs> no, towards us. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I always shoot something for myself, you know. For me, the best thing about a day or like traveling is. Waking up early in the morning and just exploring the streets all by myself with my camera, clicking pictures, meeting new people, understanding them. Come, come closer, close. And then, if you have a new equipment, I think there's nothing better than just taking a walk and just understanding the camera. Oh! <laughs> okay, camera. Beautiful man, you're beautiful. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you so much. You wanna see it? Oh, thank you. Ah, <laughs> come on, man. Beautiful, no? Yes. <laughs> see this? Lovely, no? Thank you. Welcome. See, like. Like in sometimes I'm just like only seeing things in boxes, right? Like after a point when you're doing photography and cinematography, like you confine everything into like a rectangular box, right? And that's a very weird way of seeing things because it's so vast. But at the same time, I feel there's something very beautiful in there where you can actually confine it to my space and then capture it and make it a frame of my own. But when I'm traveling or when I'm with myself. Sometimes I don't shoot. I just sit and enjoy because no matter how much I try to confine and put it in that box, it just never comes. Man, it's just never that three-dimensional, realistic image. You know, <laughs> it's not that great. <laughs> These cameras, I think, like version by version, uh, they are trying to achieve that, right? Like to make it as three-dimensional as possible. And make it as realistic as possible, close to the eye, right? So, yeah. But like that's my quest, I guess. <laughs> that's everybody's quest. It's not bad. Let's go check it. It's amazing, man. Like how the cameras are moving so. So fast, so forward. Such a small camera can produce cinema quality, and I just love shooting with smaller cameras because if I ask my actor to act keeping like this huge, big camera in front of her face, it would be completely different than just me shooting from the hip with the smaller camera. That just changes the entire perspective of how we make films. Also, and creatively, also it it just makes the film so much more better. I think that is something that nobody talks about, and that is something I really. Keep pushing with like new filmmakers because when you have technology, when you, when you have companies like Fuji Film pushing these smaller cameras, why not use those tools and make films like with the equipment that we have? And that's the whole idea of what we are doing this film also. So you don't need that much equipment. You don't need like hundred people in a set. You can literally go with like eight people, have a great story, really good actor, and you're good to go, man. You're ready to go. That makes me so much more powerful in my opinion. I am. I feel. I feel charged. I feel ready to go for any kind of walks. Yeah.
Ha, wasn't that fantastic or what? I really got lost in that BTS that I actually forgot what I wanted to actually say after that. But definitely, for sure, this is the XH1 on steroid, like uh, Anitya mentioned during his uh, conversation. So uh, we, in fact, I mean, let me tell you, we, in fact, had about 15 minutes with Aditya five minutes with me explaining this, uh, you know, the new camera, but I think I've eaten into all of that. So what I'm going to do is definitely going to talk about this camera for sure. I'm going to show everything this camera can do. Uh, but detailed video, we are making the detailed review video now. And as you can see, this is a, a kind of a, a unbadged, you know, it's uh, it's not badged at all. It is, it is, uh, it's a pre-production model that we are working with. So we are eternally thankful uh, to, to uh, you know, Fuji Film for that. Um, um, and uh, what I'm going to quickly do is we have the Fuji Film expert, okay, from Fuji Film India standing online. Um, he is standing by. Um, so instead of me, uh, going through the tech specs once again, you already know it. I mean, it was uh, it was kind of described very very in detail in the presentation from Japan, but and also uh, during our earlier conversation, uh, uh, you know, it, it was it was it was uh, mentioned uh, many times. Uh, so instead of me doing all that thing, instead of me repeating it uh, once again, uh, I, I'm going to get. Uh, uh, our friend uh, uh, Saurabh uh, back, uh, you know, he, he's, he's waiting at Fuji headquarters in India, in Gurgaon, and I'm going to take him online, and we together are going to kind of discuss about this camera. And of, of course, after that, there will be a question and answer session. And Saurabh, I have this toy here, uh, the XH2S with me, but Saurabh has a few other toys with him, which got launched uh, this evening. So he's going to be talking about that as well. So let me uh, get uh, Saurabh San online. All right. So here we go. Hi, Saurabh San. Hello. Hi, Rajan. Hi. <laughs> Welcome Thank to you this so much. live stream. Like, thank you, thank you so much. Wasn't that was was wasn't that interesting conversation with uh, Aditya? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, you were talking about the time that you have, but I was like, let it go, just let it go. Even the BTS that you just uh, <laughs> shared, uh, I am eagerly yeah. waiting for the main footage to be launched soon. I, amazing. Oh yes. So we must uh, we must tell our viewers that uh, there's going to be. Uh, uh, a, a video. I mean, the one the, what you saw was the BTS. The real video will be uh, launched soon at uh, Fujifilm X India's uh, channel. So tune in for that. It it was exclusively made with this camera with internal recording, like he mentioned. Okay. So what do we do next? Uh, I think we should. Uh, uh, I think we should uh, now go ahead and. Uh, uh, Talk about the camera at all. C camera, com camera, yeah. right? One by one by one. All, Hannah? Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. so do you want to take the honors or uh, uh, let me let me pull out the first feature? Correct. Uh, we sure, all know sure, sure, sure. Uh, that it is a twenty-six point one six megapixel camera, right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, talking and, about the uh, sensor here. Is, yes. Yeah. Talking about the sensor here, it's the newly developed CMOS uh, so fifth generation sensor, and uh, it is the yeah. HS, which is the high speed um, sensor. So it is stacked along with the back mounted sensor. It is also stacked uh, uh, with copper wiring and uh, the circuit, which in actually uh, reads out four times faster compared to the fourth generation sensor that is there in the XT4. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, so, and, and also it has the newer generation processor as well, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thanks to the X processor 5, the fifth generation processor, we are able to get all the speed and uh, accuracy as well as intelligence. So when I talk about the speed, uh, we already know that the XH2S can click up to 40 frames in a second with electronic shutter and 15 frames in a second um, up to 15 frames a second. Wait, 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 wait. I, I want to quickly, uh, I want to quickly play that. One second. So what am I in? I am in, uh, uh, let me quickly. 
Okay, so I'm going to quickly do. Okay, this is the electronic <laughs> shutter. <laughs> Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's it's that's just like a forty frames. It's like a board flying. <laughs> it's forty frames uh, clicking away, and of course, with the uh, mechanical shutter. Let me let me see if I can get the mechanical shutter back on. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get the mechanical shutter. Right. Until you have uh, getting the mechanical the, shutter. Oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've kept it uh, on a function. That's the mechanical shutter clicking away 15 frames a second, raw, you know, 26 megapixel files. Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. I couldn't resist uh, doing that. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so uh, we were talking about the fifth generation processor. And since we are talking about the frames per second, uh, you know, I'm happy to share that if you're clicking in mechanical shutter, uh, uh, which is up to 15 frames a second, you are able to click more than 1,000 photos when we talk about buffer memory. You know, which is amazing for sports action photographers and uh, wow. wildlife photographers, thanks to the new lens also, which we're going to be talking about later. Uh, so processor is the main, uh, you know, key when it comes to a camera. And because of the processor only, we are able to get 4K 120 inside. We are able to get the ProRes inside. Uh, you talk about the ProRes HQ for, or the ProRes LT. Uh, yeah. Oh, we'll go. go to the videos video later. We'll stay with the stills, okay? <laughs> because it's okay. not okay. enough. I mean, look at this list. Look at this list. Yeah. yeah. Look at this list. So, oh, mean, yes, yes. You yes. had face tracking. You had face tracking. You had an animal tracking. In some cameras, there was also a vehicle tracking. But look at this. It can differentiate between an, an animal and a bird, mm. an automobile, bike, an airplane, and train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the new subject tracking uh, algorithm, focusing algorithm that has been introduced in the H, uh, XH2S. And uh, with this, uh, it is really easy to track focus uh, along with auto exposure if you're doing, if you're clicking in burst mode. Correct, correct. So people, uh, let me assure you that there will be a Q&A session at the end. So please uh, don't start typing in your questions in the in, in the comments column now because the chances that we will miss it because I'm doing a lot of things at one time, okay? Uh, so I have to keep a track on the question and answer session. I'm sure at Fujifilm end, there will be somebody supervising the uh, comments column, but uh, on my end, questions, uh, you know, directed to me and definitely to uh, Sarosan as well. Please make sure that you reserve it for the end. We will open up for Q&A. That's a time you can, uh, you know, ask uh, those questions. All right. So stay tuned. So we are moving into the uh, next feature, the big ticket one, video. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, no, sorry. No, so that's this the is, EVF. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. That's EVF. Yeah. Yeah, that's the EVF. So uh, with the 5.76 million dot EVF, uh, it's it's 0.5 inches of EVS and it's brilliant when it comes to resolution. It's also amazing when it comes to refresh rate. So the EVS, uh, the new EVF is capable of uh, having a 120 frames per second of refresh rate. So that means even if you're clicking a fast motion, uh, you, you know, yeah. the EVF is able to give you resolution also and the frame rate also. So so and internally we have, yeah yeah so internally yeah. we have the option if you want uh, evf to be resolution prioritized or uh, frame rate prioritized okay so okay yeah. and when, so it, that when you when you talk about the, the eco and boost mode i suppose yes yes and when you talk about the resolution of the evf 5.76 million dot you know in the industry standards across uh, the camera industry the top of the line cameras have got this much of resolution in the evf itself so mm -hmm. yes, uh, uh, with the other features, XH2S is the new flagship model with us now. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like it. I mean, the kind of features that it is uh, going to give. So let's look at the video now. This is the this, <laughs> this is really mind blowing. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, with the new feature, uh, you can record highest resolution up to six point two K, which will give you an aspect ratio of three to two and uh, a bit rate of up to 720 mbps so you know you have got options to record it up to 720 mbps or 360 mbps or 200 or 100 uh, if you don't want to record at 6k you can record definitely dci format 4k which is the full 4k 4096 into 2160 and so on you can record uh, ultra hd also and so on 
talking about the slow mo uh, until now we had the full hd 240p which is 10x slow motion in the xt4 and now we have the 4k 120p which is the five times slow motion in 4k resolution and um, <clears throat> excuse me that's and so also the 4k 120 if you want to record you can record in prores so the mm -hmm. amount of data that you are going to get in your footage uh, with the resolution that you have i think you will have amazing time um, shooting videos with this new camera yeah so we will go close i mean we will go examine the camera a little closer once we finish once we are finished with all the specs you know uh, so he, yeah, this you, is the next one I, so yeah uh, can we go back and add something all, more also when it, yeah, when you of course please do about slow motion yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, not to forget the camera is capable of doing auto focusing with face detection and eye detection in slow motion. So that is one thing that the uh, every cinematographer, uh, you know, has this uh, pain point of if they are doing slow motion, if the camera is able to record in motion, the, the basically focus in motion or not. Uh, but all the Fujifilm cameras, including the new XH2S can do auto focusing in slow wow. motion as well. In slow motion as well, uh, uh, even up to 120 or up to 60. Uh, no, 120. Even which is the which is the actual slow motion, real time slow motion in camera, uh, 120p, 4K. Wow. You can do that's even a, if you're doing 240p full a, HD. That's a, yeah. Even if you're doing 240 full HD, that's you can do slow motion auto focusing with face and eye detection. That's amazing. That's amazing. So and you can shoot. And uh, now this is definitely uh, not. Uh, uh, not not unusual, but lots of cameras are offering photo to 10 bit internal. But this guy can actually sh record ProRes RAW and BMW. Uh, sorry, BM, not BMW. Yes. <laughs> Why am I saying or BMW? It it is because it's got a HDMI 2.1. It can yes. actually record a ProRes RAW and a Blackmagic Design RAW externally, right? If you have a yes a appropriate recorder. Yes, 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 yes. For that, uh, this the is going to be a Ninja great Wing. feature. Absolutely, absolutely. So people who don't want raw, they can actually enjoy uh, the this thing internally, which is four to two ten bit. But definitely, if you have a workflow which is uh, super professional, or you're doing commercial uh, filmmaking, or like what Aditya uh, recently you know uh, shared and does also, you can definitely put a recorder and with the clean HDMI output. Uh, with full HDMI 2.1, uh, you can get the ProRes RAW as well. And when you when you when you have a ProRes inbuilt, you know in the in the announcement also they had mentioned, and uh, everyone who is doing videos we know that if you are recording on H.265 or H.264, once we transfer the file in the in the editing software, we have to hold, you know, we have to wait until the file gets converted into ProRes, and then we start the workflow of editing. But here. Uh, when you when you are shooting already in the progress, I think you'd save a lot of time. Hmm. That's that's and uh, to to make it possible internally, you have uh, UHS two oh, SD yes. cards and yes. uh, and a CF Express Type B, which can which can write I think about fifteen hundred Mbps. I think uh, uh, yes, yes. Think so it can it can it can basically write uh, up to fifteen hundred um, uh, fifteen hundred Mbps and read up to seventeen hundred Mbps the CF Express uh, Type B card. And uh, just to mention here, if you want to record ProRes, you need a CF Express card. But if you want to record Full HD, uh, if you want to record H two six four or H two six five, you can record in the uh, UHS two V ninety uh, card. Yeah, yeah, the V90 SD cards. Correct, yeah. correct. Wonderful. And uh, of course, this is this is another very important uh, uh, thing. Uh, F-Log2, 14 stops. And uh, he yes. was talking about, so in a digital camera, uh, uh, you know, burned out uh, highlights are a problem. So... Uh, so he was saying that the uh, the the F log two is really taking good care of the highlights. Yeah, yeah. So comparing the F log two with the F log, the first F log, uh, in the F log the minimum ISO is 640, whereas in the new F log two the minimum ISO is uh, 1250, which is 1250. Uh, uh, you know, with this F log two, we are able to achieve 14 stops of dynamic range. And if I if I compare these 14 stops in shadows and highlights, 
uh, in the shadows you can go up till minus eight stops and in the highlights you can eight go up stops. till six stops in yes in six stops in plus so uh, mm. that's that's how you can you know get the details in shadows and highlights with the new flop 2 and and one thing in this excitement what we forgot was of course uh, seven stops uh, stabilization oh no i i was about to come over it but you know <laughs> later on definitely uh, the seven yeah. stops of uh, yeah. image stabilization it's hats hats off uh, up till now we were on 6.5 stops and now it's the seven stops uh, you know half a stop might not be very fascinating for people but uh, trust me when you are uh, doing handheld run and gun type of video recording uh, when you don't have time to change uh, you know to balance out the gimbal or the quick shots i'm sure the seven stops of image stabilization will definitely boost up wonderful so now what i'm going to do is saurabh i'm going to take the main uh, you know stage i'm going to show some close ups to our people okay um so yeah so we can go to that picture in picture uh, shot uh, uh, saurabh san stay with us okay the picture in picture more uh, yeah that's right so he, this is the camera uh, so let me let me just show you so this is the camera you can see it i'm going to open the uh, body cap that's the beauty sitting inside that's the generation 5 chip uh, 26 megapixel generation 5 they also towards the end of the session in japan they announced a new one called the hr uh, which is supposed to be a 40 megapixel i'm 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 guessing that will be the same body with the uh, different sensor in it so that's something which uh, you know people have to uh, wait uh, wait for uh, very simple now to give you an idea in terms of the size comparison i have the current uh, top of the model which is the uh, xt4 right and this is the uh, let me try and show it yeah this is the xh1 A almost similar except that the, sorry not the xh1 the xh2s except that the xh2 has a much deeper grip right uh, uh, this one has a much smaller grip now we are not really talking about the xh1 here though i think saurabh uh, has a Uh, as i said yes. one there sitting there yeah you have it there okay so so we, we will show that as well all right so this is how it compares and at the rear uh, both uh, let me let me yeah so this also has a uh, all right so this is the back side of uh, uh, you know this is the the new camera the xh2 and let me try and catch some light ah now you know so this is what it is uh i'm trying to also hold it properly okay very very similar but the technical specification is is you know gone through the roof uh, so uh, xh1 uh, so the xt4 now will be the will be will no longer be the uh, the flagship model it'll be it'll be this guy when it comes out uh, very soon correct and let me show you the big ticket uh, ch uh, changes all right the big one which fuji uh, users were always asking for is this this one the full hd port this is big because of this uh, full hd uh, uh, hdmi port not hd port hdmi 2.1 port you can record raw uh, externally and of course it's got the other uh, usual suspects uh how do i open this yeah here it is you shall suspect the uh type c which is also a charger also a tethering port uh and also you have the mic and but let me catch some light yeah mic and the uh headphones right and this is another interesting thing of course this is the first time the xh1 this is one big big let me catch some light so that this guy ha okay there there i go uh here it was it was a mechanical uh, dial here in the xh1 now when you switch the camera on it comes on correct there you see uh and it can be viewed in uh, two different kinds of so depending on the lighting condition you are in you can view it in reverse or straight mode all your details are here your dials are very simple very few fuji like uh, dials and um, and of course you know it already fuji has very as completely dedicated separate uh, settings for uh,
uh, stills and video. So the moment you uh, shift the dials to video, it goes back to your video settings. Many cameras don't do it. You need to reset the camera to suit the, you know, your, your shooting. So if you're shooting both at one time, you need to keep readjusting your exposure uh, every time to suit shoot uh, uh, your shooting uh, mode. Uh, what else? Uh, it has a fully articulating, uh, uh, you know, screen. Uh, you know, I don't have a lens on it. That's why it's it's gone black. Uh, and also, of course, it's a touch LCD, uh, fully functional. Uh, it's got, it's got a, where is the quick menu? Okay. So that's your quick menu. And uh, the most interesting thing about the Fuji thing, Fuji camera is that menu. Once you have used a Fuji camera, you know it all. You know how the menu flows. It's fantastic. And, uh, well, this is something which uh, Saurabh San will give you. 4K, 60, 4K, 120. It's going to definitely create a lot of heat inside, right? Plus, this is weather shield. So there is no way, you know, the, the, the heat can escape out of this uh, camera. Uh, it also shoots 6.2K, so it's going to definitely create a lot of heat inside. So to cool it down, you can attach an uh, attach a cooling device here. So these two two uh, holes that you see here are for that uh, device to be uh, kind of uh, screwed on to it. Rest everything is exactly the way you would expect from the uh, Fuji cameras. It is built very well. Uh, when I was reviewing the 50S2, I had some anxiety about the toggle switch here. You know, uh, it was a little flimsy, uh, this guy, but now it's become rock solid. I mean, it, this is going to last for ages. So I can really feel uh, this is a pre-production model, model, all right? So this, this is something really, really nice and positive about, positive about this camera. So... So that's about uh, uh, my, uh, you know, uh, uh, what I have to say about this camera. Now I'll quickly go to, uh, you know, Saurabh San. I'll give him the big screen. And now your, uh, uh, you know, why don't you show the goodies that you have yeah. on your side? <laughs> yeah. Before I uh, show, Rajasthan, thank you so much for uh, you know telling about explaining the camera and uh, buttons and all. But uh, quickly, I will give you, give a recap to all the viewers, and then I'll show the other accessories that I have. Uh, comparing this with the XH2, so now I also have the camera. I'm sorry, I don't have a second cam here. But yes, comparing to the XH2, so there is a mo new mode dial here that you can see uh, instead of uh, basically the the dedicated shutter dial and the ISO dial. So we have a new mode dial. The the shutter uh, button is also changed, repositioned. Uh, the on the top, uh, you mentioned about the LCD uh, top shoulder LCD, and there is a there is a light switch as well, along with the diopter setting, uh, uh, the the sensor settings. On the top also, there is a dedicated video uh, button here that you can see, and then further ISO white balance and the function button. Uh, also, there is one uh, interesting and new change that has happened, which is the focusing. Uh, mode button. So usually there used to be S, C, M, uh, and now there's a function button. So you can actually assign a focusing button to somewhere else or uh, use here only. So this button is also changed. Uh, talking about the rear joystick, it is now placed, uh, it's a little bigger and placed properly, as well as uh, you already spoke about the ports uh, and all. Uh, uh, on the lower side, uh, what you see is basically the grip attachment. So I have the grip also, which I'll show you. And uh, it, there is a USB-C type which goes with the grip. So it's it's inbuilt. Uh, talking about the C type port uh, here. So this one port can do a lot of things. Uh, this is for your webcam uh, uh, connection. This is for your charging. This is for your data transfer. And talking about the data transfer, this port is capable of transferring 10 Gbps per uh, basically 10 GB per second. Uh, so that's the kind of speed that the camera has. Uh, now, uh, since you already mentioned about the high temperature, uh, external high temperature that we record in summers in India, it has already reached around 50 degrees at this time, the season in, in the NCR. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and, and then we, when we go out and we shoot high resolutions like 6K, 4K, 
definitely the camera heats up it's not about uh, the fuji film as a brand across the industry these are smaller cameras these are supposed to be shot uh, you know with the planned uh, or you you're shooting and then you turn off the camera you turn on the camera and just have to be little but thanks to the new uh, cooling device which is this the the fan that you see here i will just let me remove the device and i'll show you so this device basically helps you extend the shooting time uh, when you are doing it so that's this small device okay it has got a port here which goes inside the the body and it takes the power from your camera only and it's just a small cooling fan which is uh, you know you can just keep it in the pocket as well and mount it when you are recording in uh, in extreme temperatures or when you're recording in high resolution so that's one accessory uh, the cooling the cooling fan uh, talking about the grip so there are two different grips one is uh, the regular uh, vertical grip which you can just mount it and and you get extra basically dual battery in the grip one in the camera you get extra shutter button and it's a vertical grip another one which is uh, this one this is the file transfer vertical grip so the new feature uh, which is remote recording um, uh, you know you you can just connect this as a hub or you can connect the ethernet port which is here uh, as you can see also shown in the announcement uh, you know you can control four cameras four xh2s wirelessly uh, if you are a, you know low with the staff if you don't have uh, much shooters or if you don't have space just set up the cameras and control them wirelessly with the file transfer vertical grip so this is also one uh, very very interesting and new uh, product that the fuji film has announced uh, so this comes with the uh, so there are three different accessories one is the cooling fan another one is the regular vertical grip and then it's the ftxh which is the file transfer vertical grip kya yeah, raksha well you have few more stuff there to show i i i yeah, i i i have got a couple of more the... toys and i i i feel <laughs> lucky extremely lucky with uh, right now that i can show you yeah. the new uh, 150 600 mm which was uh, one of the most awaiting you know most awaited lens when it comes to wildlife when it comes to sports photography uh, action photography and you know the most interesting feature that i have is extremely lightweight it's just 1600 approximately 1600 grams uh, it has got a internal zooming feature so if i'm zooming in zooming out that's the barrel that, doesn't you know you know you know saurabh san that is for me is the is the is the biggest uh, advantage <clears throat> i mean typically any uh, the long range zoom lenses like a 200 500s and you know any lens they have a you know extending out. barrel now this is internally zooming and internally focusing is a big big advantage of people especially people traveling people are you know you the balance doesn't shift it doesn't become unwieldy you know and uh, it's it's what 5.68 right uh, i'm sorry i didn't get you yeah, yeah it's, it's 5.62 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. yes 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 yeah, yes 5.62 yeah, yeah. so uh, just to show i mean this is you know this is so heavy so lightweight it's not heavy at all yeah. Yeah, one point. So it's this considering grams the and con considering the range that it is offering. Yeah. Yes. So the, when we talk about the range, it's actually one hundred fifty six hundred. But when you mount it on an XCDs camera, it gives you a range of approximately two thirty mm to nine hundred mm. And if you have got a teleconverter, you can go around eighteen hundred mm also. Uh, so considering you this, know, it's, uh, it's 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 six hundred, right? Yeah, six. Yeah, but on the X series. Uh, on the x series it, yeah, it gives I know. you a focal length i understand 1.5 crop yeah hmm. yeah yeah so with these focusing you know uh, with these focusing button focusing lock buttons uh, to share the hood you can just mount the hood uh, as you want and also it's got a cute little window uh, to you know rotate your filter if you're using any yes yes yeah circle of circle of filters yes. So that's the yeah. uh, that's the one lens that we have uh, now the 150-600. So with this lens, uh, we already have the 70-300. I'm talking about the telephoto lenses that the range we have. 70-300. We have the 100-400. Uh, we have the 200 mm f2 block, and then we have the 150-600. Now I think we are ready to uh, you know just go into the wildlife, go into the sports, and then. get amazing pictures with 40 frames uh, a second or 
<laughs> ISO resolution. You, you, in fact, have an amazing wildlife lens, the 200, 2.8, yeah. F2, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's for me, is, a, is, is, is one gem of a lens. Uh, for some reason, yeah. I don't see it too, you know, outside too much. Uh, that's, that's a brilliant lens along with the converter that becomes the, the most affordable uh, lens. I mean, sorry, yes, wildlife with kit, the, in fact. Yes, with the with converter, the it goes around 427mm f2.8. Correct, correct. That'll be amazing. All right, you have yeah. one more toy there. Yes. <laughs> so we have we have the all-rounder, as mentioned. This is the 18-120mm f4 power zoom with linear motor and uh, you know the weather resistant it fits uh, with the 72 mm dia filter and why we are saying this all rounder is because with the 18 120 you get a focal length of uh, 27 uh, 180 so with the 27 180 if if i am a one man shooter if i am you know i am shooting around photos if i am shooting videos and uh, i want a little power zoom this is what we have. So there's the buttons here that you can, uh, you know, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you can select the speed of zooming in and zooming out. And because this is a, this is dedicatedly video uh, specific lens, you can definitely shoot stills and create amazing stills thanks to F4 constant F4. You do not lose the focus when you are basically uh, zooming in, zooming out, or changing the focal. Length. It's a far and focal again, length. Yeah. Yes, and again, this is internal, so you don't have a barrel which comes out or goes inside. So Again, one all-rounder lens, 18-120 power zoom, that is being announced. Wonderful, wonderful. Hope I get one of those lenses here with me while I while I'm testing and making the review video of this uh, uh, this 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 beauty. Okay, so anything left? I think uh, it's time uh, to take some questions. We have lots of people. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. <laughs> on a working day in the evening. So <clears throat> that before we take questions, another presentation. Yes. Yeah. Before we take questions, Rajasan, I I think how was the roadmap announcement for you? The eight mm f three point five, the fifty six mm f one point two, and oh, yes. uh, the, the new thirty mm macro. Yes, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> they've been there's one one brand for me who in advance kind of tell you instead of keeping things as as a secret and well guarded secret this is one brand fuji is one brand who kind of likes to announce what is in store and you know tell you that this is what is expected uh, you know and they even kind of give you a time frame within which they they, they are likely to bring that product into the market yeah. so so yeah i mean all are fantastic i mean I, I don't want to even go there to those 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 products which are yet to come. I mean, the one which is already here is which is going to come into India. And I mean, they're saying the worldwide launch is July, right? So this is uh, so the yeah. So products market availability will be in July. So I mean, we have quite a handful of uh, products in July, you know. So let me play with it enough before I reach out for the new ones which are. Are going to be uh, coming for fantastic day to us. I mean, it, they made it so understated and very simple and elegant kind of a presentation. No, you know, halla about, uh, you know, hey, these are groundbreaking kind of some of the features were amazing. And but there's no halla, right? I mean, they were all, all I, presented I, I, in a way. I, I'm sure, I'm sure people are waiting for a, uh, you know, a amazing product review from Pixel Village also. So I think that will make halla. Well, well, I hope I'll be able to match up to their expectation. But, you know, it is also very evident from the number of people who are watching this live stream, even oh, yes. at 9 o'clock on a working day evening. This is quite commendable. Uh, so thank you, people, for tuning in such large numbers, you know, and, and supporting us. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely give us a lot of, uh, uh, you know, what do you call? Uh, it, it's actually really really encouraging you know so many people tuning in and staying you know uh, so long for this presentation yeah uh, so we have a whole lot of people i i mean i don't know there was there was millions of comments already uh, there were people uh, from all across the globe there were people from malaysia there were people from well, definitely all across the country in india for sure and uh, I think uh, without uh, testing their patience anymore, I think we should start taking questions. So people, Please. if you have questions, 
uh, well, I don't know how much I can answer, but definitely Saurav knows a lot more about this camera because he got these cameras. He's been playing around with his cameras for quite some time, but I'll definitely try and answer a few in case if you, uh, you know, uh, if if you have any. I know uh, I am a I am a, a, a member in some of the uh, uh, Fuji Film X WhatsApp groups, right? The one in Kerala is the one of the most active ones, and those guys there was lots of XH1 users there, and they still feel uh, I know. And I want to name a few uh, who are hardcore XH1 user. You know, there's Arun Sol, for example, was mm -hmm. an XH1 mm -hmm. user before he. Sh I mean, after he I mean, just before shifting out to XT4, uh, and also I think he also got the 50s too. Uh, there is there is another young guy, a self-taught photographer called Rajesh Gopi, brilliant guy. Um, lots of learning he he even goes around uh, you know trying to get get entry into international groups and you know try to get more information about products and stuff like that he keeps sending me a lot of uh, information about uh, you know uh, uh, fuji cameras he's a hardcore fuji fan so there are lots of people i know who are uh, oh yes there there you go you know who's there on the in the in the comments column arjun karta there he is let me <laughs> Ah, uh, where is he? He disappeared. No, is he? Okay, there he is. No, no, he's there. Arjun, yeah, uh, can't wait for the new camera. Arjun, this time I got the camera first uh, before you. Arjun, son, hey, come XT4 over, come over to Gurgaon office. Come over to Gurgaon office. <laughs> Take the camera. <laughs> oh, wonderful, great, and uh, correct. So, uh, yes, Arjun, thank you for tuning in. Wonderful. Uh, so let's start taking questions. If uh, people, if you have questions, uh, please try. Uh, now you can type that those questions in, and uh, <laughs> and we will try and answer those questions in the meantime. Uh, okay, so we have a question from uh, Malaysia. All right, so let me put again Ibrahim Jugar. So. I am from Malaysia. Question is, how is this performing compared to Nikon Z series and Sony A7 series? And uh, which mode are XH2 rival? Well, let me apologize first. Uh, from Pixel Village, we, we typically don't encourage any kind of comparisons. Uh, Every brand has every model. I mean, I've been used, I've used a whole lot of cameras. Every cameras have, uh, you know, their plus and uh, advantages and disadvantages. So it would be appropriate not to compare uh, any cameras on a public platform like this. Uh, so I wouldn't personally want to do it unless uh, Saros want Saros San want to take on and answer that question. If you're welcome, yeah, to I'll quickly it. answer it in 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 uh, you know. Sure. Uh, one line is uh, that the XH2S is the flagship uh, model and it's the top of the line camera. So if you want to compare this, uh, you can, you you know, all the tech specs are available online and you can compare all these uh, specifications uh, yourself. It's available over all the websites and review websites and all. But yes, definitely it's top of the line. Wonderful. So that sums it all. Uh, oh, okay, something that we did not uh, talk about is about the battery. So that's Dipin uh, from uh, Dipin. I know Dipin is from Kerala, and uh, is about battery. So yeah, so this has got a battery here. It is similar to our XT4 battery, right? Yes, yes, it's uh, the similar to XT4, which is W two three five. Talking about the battery instills, again, if you're using battery grip, you go up to 1800 shots or more. Uh, if you're talking about videos, you know, video specification, it matters uh, what resolution you're shooting, what temperature you're shooting. Uh, are you using IBIS? Are you using face detection? Because that's all what consumes batteries. But as per the internal testing, as per the SEPA guidelines, the uh, battery would last, if you're shooting 4K, it should last around, uh, you know, 50 minutes, 60 minutes. Okay. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, uh, so Ibrahim, 
Ibrahim says, thank you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, Ibrahim, sorry. Definitely, there was not an inconvenience. Just that I wish I could give you a straight answer there. Uh, you know, this was about the comparison. Uh, he's a gentleman who asked about uh, comparing it with other brands. Uh, there is one question here from Gaurav, Gaurav Dikshit. Uh, Pixel Village, a channel where I learned basics, ro basic rules of photography, uh, as well as some basic to... You've got your fans. Ah, I got my fans. Thank you very much, Gaurav. <laughs> my question is, I face various issues in setting aperture. Now, this is, this is in relation to... Uh, let's say, learning fundamentals of photography, uh, the only way to learn this is to continue shooting and you will learn. I mean, you will come across a lot of photographers who are self-taught. I mean, these days, don't even worry about making mistakes, right? You're not going to mm -hmm. burn any films and stuff. So keep making mistakes. That's the best way to learn, uh, uh, you know, learn from your own mistakes. And of course, uh, whatever little I can help, please reach out to us at Pixel Village. Uh, I'll, we'll definitely try and, uh, you know, suggest some remedies if 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 it's something that we know um okay so uh there is another question i don't know if i can answer this uh please explain gimbal free filming high and low frequency shake and remote recording, recording function. function yeah so while it is uh you want to uh, please. Do it or you want to... yeah, no, please okay. take it please take it yeah. I'll address uh, first, second, and third. Uh, the first is the gimbal-free shooting. So when we say gimbal-free shooting, we are actually talking about, uh, you know, seven stops of in-body image stabilization. Unless there is a shot where you have to run. In the BTS video also, uh, most of the times Aditya was shooting handheld. Yeah. But when there was a tracking shot, when the when he was, uh, you know, uh, focusing or tracking the car, at that type of moment, um, he was actually using gimbal. So uh, this is what gimbal free shooting means. Uh, you shoot lightweight and you, you just turn on the camera, turn on your XH2S and then go around and shoot with the IPIS, which gives you up till seven stops of image stabilization. Second is the high and low frequency shake. Basically, uh, there are different kinds of shake uh, when you're shooting videos. If you're moving, if you put in your steps, there can be a different frequency of shake. But if it's just a little bit of movement, there can be different frequency of shake. So that is what... Uh, we are trying to uh, talk here, but the most important point, uh, it's a very nice question about remote recording function. So as I mentioned, uh, this is the new vertical grip that will be available around September um, of this year. With this vertical grip, it, 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 you know, you can make it a hub and you can control up to four XH2S uh, in a shoot virtually wirelessly. So you can just, with the application, you can connect all these cameras, make it a hub. You can zoom in with the new lens, uh, 18120. You can also wirelessly zoom in, zoom out, and do a lot of feature, a uh, lot of settings wirelessly and, in and one were, setup. And they, and, and they were using an, a, a pad, a mobile pad yeah, to, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, to, to yeah. control. I think it was an iPad that they were trying to. You know, it, I, I think, Rajasthan, it solves the purpose of having a wireless transmitter over the camera, which is third party, and a receiver. And then when I'm, let's say, if you're shooting with four shooters, you're not sure which setting, uh, you know, if there's a setting change, if the settings are common across the cameras or not. But with this new feature, remote recording function, uh, you can just do it in one go okay perfect um so the next one is here from jitendra sahu seven stops ibis um, is definitely a great uh, is is definitely great while shooting allowing us to uh, go up to lower shutter speed how ibis is beneficial while shooting video does it not hurt the organic feeling of the footage? Do you want to handle handle that? I think it's more creative, Rajasthan. I can, but I <laughs> I think I would. <laughs> yeah. But please. No, I you. don't. I don't think it it, uh, it it is like like he said, gimbal free shooting, right? What does the gimbal do? It counters all, uh, you know, moments or jerks or any kind of accidental shake or which results from. You're moving the camera, you're running along with the camera, you're sitting inside a vehicle and chasing another vehicle or tracking another vehicle. 
So all those natural moments the camera uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, comes under uh, or, sh or shake, um, the, the, the internal stabilization counters them and try to balance them as much as possible. Now, if you don't want it and if you think that it is, it is inorganic or unorganic or whatever you think it is, you can switch off and use it. I mean, in fact, there are shots, if you notice in, in, in the BTS video, if you've seen it, if you have not seen it, this, this, this will be available as a recording in the, in, a, in, in the stream itself. You can go back and see somewhere around the 26th, second, 26th or 27th minute, we've, we started rolling the BTS of the uh, video that uh, Aditya Verma shot. So there are lots of shots where he has actually switched off the IBIS. And he wanted to create yeah. that, uh, you know, movement, uh, the exactly. cinema verite yes. kind of uh, look, yes. uh, like a shoulder-mounted cameras. You know, in the olden days, they used to shoot with very journalistic kind of the, shooting. Correct. You can do that as well in case if you want to. You can switch off the IBIS, use a gimbal, and get that same uh, uh, same kind of a result. But, well, if you have, uh, if you don't want to carry a gimbal, uh, you want to be as, as compact as uh, Aditya was in that shoot, lens, camera, one uh, variable ND filter, one viewfinder if you want, you know, an external recorder if you want. That's all that you require to shoot the kind of videos that he did. And uh, in fact, I, we've been shooting a lot of videos like that. So IBIS, it definitely is a boon, but it is not something which you cannot switch off. You can switch off and uh, shoot organically if that's what you, what, what you uh, think organic is. So just switch it off and shoot it the way you like. It's not. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not something which is permanently on in the camera. It's a. It's a. You know. Uh, I would. I would like to say it's a style of shooting or the shot that you want to take. If it's action and then you don't want to stable. You know. If it's a. If it's a shooting shot or there's a fight scene happening, you don't want it stable. It's more of a shot kind of that you turn off the gimbal or you turn on the turn off the ibis. So it's shot to shot. It's creativity and. Uh, even so now, if you're talking about IBIS and stabilization, I think we missed the rolling shutter, uh, Radha Sarkar, but <laughs> if you turn yes. off the stabilization yeah. also, as Aditya mentioned, with a, with a span and a wish span, uh, you have extremely low rolling shutter and that will give you more uh, organic uh, if you're talking about that, if you're talking about it. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, so, there is some question about the HR. So, Sunil Shashidharan is asking, can you read that out, please? There is some obstruction yeah. in between. So, yeah. Yeah. So, hi, Radha sir. I have a question about 40 MP sensor of XH2. My understanding is more megapixel, the lesser the pixel size. Absolutely correct. Should Fuji stick to 26 MP rather than going behind the megapixel race? Uh, so, uh, that's the reason that we have announced two sensors. One is for the HR is for the high resolution. So people who want high resolution camera, uh, you know, who who don't uh, who are not into so much of pixel pitch, pixel size. Uh, so HS, which is the which is this camera, is for high speed, and HR stands for the high resolution, the 40 MP. It's it's person to person. So Fuji, in any case, uh, right now Fujifilm is having 26 megapixel, which is with XT4, XS10, uh, now with the H2S. And then if you want a little higher resolution in X series, not to forget Fujifilm also has the GFX series, which is 50 megapixel and 100 megapixel. But in X series, <laughs> which is lightweight and uh, compact, <laughs> why not having a higher resolution also? Yes, perfect. I mean, here is Albert uh, uh, saying, I have to wait until September for the resolution <laughs> giant. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, if you want to wait, uh, I mean, I mean, like uh, uh, Saurav Zan was just mentioning, if you don't want to wait, you have the GFX uh, available, oh, a 50 yeah. megapixel and, uh, and 100 megapixel in case, you know, uh, that's what uh, you want to do, and uh, budget is, of course, is 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 a, is, is a deciding factor for sure. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for uh, that comment. I'd like to definitely know from which all parts of the world or country people have uh, <laughs> tuned in today. So, if you can just uh, type in, and it'll be very exciting to know where you all have tuned in, uh, tuned in uh, from. Uh, before that, let me take a few questions. Um, uh, what is what is the difference between uh, 
F log and the F log two. Media motion. So, uh, yeah, so uh, it's the different latitude altogether. It's a different gamma curve. Uh, F log, uh, which is the the previous version, uh, the F log minimum ISO is 640. Uh, it gives you a dynamic range of approximately 12 stops. Uh, comparing that with the new F log 2, wherein the minimum ISO is 1250, it gives you approximately 14 plus of dynamic stops. So you get more dynamic range. Uh, that means better recovery of your shadows and highlights when you're shooting log footage. So that's that's mm -hmm. in short a uh, quick comparison of F log versus F log 2. Also, the native ISO in which the F log is short and the F log 2 is short are also different, right? There is a 640 yeah, ISO. Yeah, 640 and 1250. And Correct. Uh, for for the uh, for, so if you have if you are if you are encountering probably lesser light and uh, more contrasty kind of situations probably uh, at 12, 1250, right or 1200. Yeah. Uh, the 12 F log uh, 1250. Uh, the F log uh, the F log two works better. Um, what else? Uh, next question is F log is explained now. Um, uh, there is one. Uh, any suggestion how to handle heating issues of XT200? Is there so, is there any? Uh, I I I have asked. I mean, I've heard this question before. I think most of the XT200 users use an inferior quality SD card inside. Uh, you know, like I mean, this is what I so so and try to record a, a high resolution uh, or or a you know. 4K kind of a video inside, and after a while, it starts heating up. Uh, definitely, these are all entry-level uh, cameras. It needs to be handled with, uh, you know, keeping the limitations in mind. So the best way to handle is to plan your shot well and uh, make sure that you're using a fast uh, card as recommended by the brand. Also, make sure that you are regularly up upgrading the, uh, uh, the, the firmware. So these are the things that you can do to kind of, uh, up, 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 you know, to, to, to handle heating issue in any camera. There's one more thing. Matter. One yes. more thing I would like to update here. If in case yes. uh, 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 the XT200 user is using the EVF, uh, then that means that the screen is uh, closed. So I would like to just mm. mention that please open your screen so that the, there is a, you know, uh, the ventilation properly Better, some, yes, heat, actually, some yeah. kind of heat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. That's another interesting thing. Okay. Um, and uh, who else? What is the reason behind ISO shutter speed? Um, so, yeah. So, okay. Oh, okay. We have uh, Albert Jim Jimens. Jimens. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong here. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, he's from New York. So, oh, wonderful. We have people tuning, tuned in from New York. Uh, I saw a gentleman tuned in. I mean, our Ibrahim is, uh, uh, Ibrahim is tuned in from Malaysia. Uh, then, um, yeah. So, so then Lalasan, I would Pune. just, uh, I'm sorry. Sure. I, Media Motion had already asked the question about ProRes, uh, and further there are two more questions, uh, one more question. So I'll quickly answer that. Yes, the ProRes is Apple yeah. ProRes, and uh, you can record ProRes 422, uh, the ProRes uh, 422 HQ internally on the CF Express uh, card. But you, if you want to record RAW, then you need an external recorder. Yes, it is Apple ProRes. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, viewers from Pune, from Mizoram, from Kerala, from uh, Bhagalpur, um, from Odisha, yeah, Bangalore, Kolkata, Jamnagar in Gujarat, and Bangalore. Fantastic, right? Thank you very much. I think it was uh, it was an hour and a half. Fantastic. I mean, uh, that was a great session. Uh, you want to add something before we actually... Uh, wind yeah, I just, I just saw a question. I just saw a question, I'm sorry, uh, from Harish yeah, Raghavinder. Uh, wherein yes. uh, it's about a different camera. Uh, he's asking XT30 uh, Mark II is uh, not yet released uh -huh. in India. Uh, just to clarify, it's available. And just If you want to buy, just 
uh, get into get in touch with any of the flagship uh, stores that we have and you can get the information about the stores on our website uh, that camera is available xt2 xt30 mark 2 all right so, currently are there any price indications other than the indications of uh, uh, which which the, 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 the which which uh, the they mentioned in during the launch in japan uh, i think 2500 for the body uh, us dollars for the body i think 1 199 for the cooling fan um, yeah. i think that and uh, to uh, close to 2000 dollars for the uh, the big zoom lens uh, yes i'm i'm sure the india prices will definitely vary i mean we have lots so of prices uh, prices when we talk about price it is a very uh, you know sensitive yet yeah, uh, very, very tight highly uh, variable always Yeah. yeah. Uh, just to mention this, all the prices that were announced online, you know, these are prices without the taxation. So generally, uh, we compare. Okay, this is announced at let's say two thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars. So we'll do our calculations, uh, dollar calculations and all. But uh, not to forget, the country has its own taxation, and then uh, India as well as even if you go abroad and then uh, you want to order something in US. it depends on which state you are getting the product delivered accordingly the taxation would be added so uh, it's it, it it's not the straight away calculation but yes it falls around uh, that only hmm wonderful so and uh, uh, can we expect it around the same time uh, when it gets launched in other parts of the world uh, july is the time oh yes time yes yes mentioned. absolutely so yes so uh, you have also noticed this uh, that since uh, fujifilm india uh, you know in the past 4 5 years we have been trying to align the global launches uh, with the india launch and we we we're going to do the same with when it comes to uh, xh2s uh, the ev- in the global announcement also it was mentioned that the product would be available in market in july and same goes for india the product the new camera will be available uh, in in july month so if somebody wants to pre book we are here <laughs> wonderful but but this gentleman wants to know why xt30 mark 2 is not available in any any of the sites online purchase to purchase online i uh, i think i think you you can very soon uh, order it uh, with our new upcoming portal but oh, if it's oh. available on offline if you you know uh, if uh, mr harish can drop his email id or uh, location uh, i think email id would be best we can get in touch wonderful so harish there you go you have an answer you have the answer please uh, add your uh, uh, email id in in uh, in in the fuji uh, uh, stream okay someone from fuji will get in touch with you and help you purchase your xt30 mark 2 in case if that's what you are looking at wonderful so we have lots of people tuned tuned in and they are still here uh i well i think uh, we have another question <laughs> uh, we planned we planned this for uh, i think 30 minutes <laughs> we planned this uh, session and, for and there is, what it you know, there are the so many more was, questions oh yeah there are questions are happening i think we should we will once we launch this in india we should uh, you know get into uh, by then we will all have uh, tested this uh, uh you know camera and uh you know people will be able to kind of uh, we'll be able to in a much better position to answer questions at that time currently yeah, lots and of, and just to announce I, mean, uh, I saw things. a lot of i'm sorry just to announce i saw a lot of queries wherein the people uh, the viewers want this session to be in uh, hindi language so uh, from fuji film side uh, let me assure everyone that we will have another session soon wherein we'll be having the hindi language and we'll talk about the products at that time also we'll do the q and a so yeah hindi language bahut jaldi aayegi ha ha hindi language bahut jaldi aayegi wonderful um so that's 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 great uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for uh, for the opportunity that is given to pixel village to host this event Uh, it's definitely a matter of pride for us uh, and uh, i would like to thank uh, fuji film india um, everyone wonderful folks at uh, fuji film india uh, saurabh san you personally 
um, and also Aditya for sparing that uh, time uh, in between his busy schedule to talk to us. Um, so I can we call it an evening now? Ready? Is yeah. that okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah. can see I few am more questions. Excited to use this camera. Uh, me too. Me too. Um, excited to use this <laughs> camera. So, please, uh, well, I'm a YouTuber, so I cannot leave a live stream without requesting people to subscribe to Pixel Village YouTube channel. You know, it'll be a crime if I do it, if I don't do it. So, please uh, subscribe to Pixel Village YouTube channel. We also have an online uh, educa photography education portal. And we are also ready to give a big announcement very soon. So, please stay tuned. Another 15, 15 days, I think, I'll be, I'll, we will be announcing something really, really big. Okay. So, please stay tuned I think for that as well. I think, yes. Narasan, I should take this opportunity because there are viewers because this stream is live on Pixel Village channel also. So people who are watching yeah. on Pixel Village, uh, please subscribe to the Fujifilm X India channel as well. And uh, we, we, nice. we do a lot of online activities. We do a lot of uh, workshops and, uh, you know, uh, product reviews and a lot of things. So why not? There you go. Uh, the, the, your social media handle is right on the screen. So please follow uh, Fujifilm X India as well. Thank you very much. So... Please take good care. Uh, now we are out of this so-called. We have started forgetting about that, you know, that unfortunate event that happened and kept us indoors for the last two years. Uh, now we are back in action. Uh, take care of your health. Take care of your uh, near ones. It's very important. Uh, and of course, keep learning. Thank you very much. Have a thank great you. evening. And once again, thank you very much for joining in. Bye for now. Bye-bye.